Here are three tips you can learn from the Coco Golf Serve to help improve your serve. Now, this video is courtesy of 12K GP Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. So first, let's watch her serve three times in a row. Now, the first thing I want you to notice about Coco's serve is as she's lifting her racket up, when her hand is at shoulder level, the racket is level to the ground and she could place a ball in the throat. This is called palm down. It's when your strings are pointing down. As a right-hander, if you film yourself from the back view, as we see here with Coco, have the tip of your racket pointing off to the right of the camera. So the tip of her racket is pointing off to the right of the screen when filming from the back. If you're a lefty, then you want the tip of the racket pointing off to the left. The reason having the palm down position with the strings down, able to place a ball in the throat when the racket is this high, the reason that's a good thing is because it allows you to then draw a very comfortable circular swing from that point to the contact. You watch most recreational players, they'll go across their feet at this point, and then their racket is back here with their strings facing up. When Coco lifts her racket, her strings are pointing down. This actually reminds me very much of Rafael Nadal's serve. You see Gail Monfils doing the exact same thing. Uh, it's, it just has a different, uh, a very similar, I mean to say, look than what a lot of recreational players have. So after you toss the ball and you're lifting your racket up, have your strings facing down as your racket is lifting up and the chance of using the right throwing motion during the serve increase. Here's the second thing I want to show you. And Federer does this perfectly as well. You'll see with Coco, if we draw a line at the top of her racket, we can see her tossing hand higher than her racket at this point. Most recreation, uh, recreational players I see who struggle with their serve do not have their tossing hand this high nor for this long. You want your shoulders angled at this point. You want your tossing hand to stay up. It helps you to swing up. It helps you to stay sideways long enough that you can actually hit a kick serve. I usually see at this point when the racket is in the trophy position, as a lot of coaches call it, when the racket's in this position where you're about to hit the birthday hat, most recreational players have their arm all the way down here. They've already begun dropping, and it's just too early in the process. So keep your tossing hand up so long that when you film yourself, you can see that your tossing hand is actually higher than your racket in the trophy position. And the last thing I want to show you is her leg drive timing. It isn't just important that your knees are bent nor is it just important that your body explodes up. But we also want to do it at the right time. Notice that the tip of her racket is pointing up at this moment. That's when her legs are fully engaged, and this is when she's going to begin exploding up. You do not want the racket to be dropping and have it all the way down here, and then you begin exploding up. What you want to do is begin the explosion up when the racket head is either straight up and down or anywhere even earlier between these two lines. If the racket is here and you begin exploding up with your legs, that's great. That's what you see with Riley Opelka. That's what you see with Nick Kyrgios, uh, Grigor Dimitrov. Where her racket is here is where Federer explodes up. This is also where Naomi Osaka explodes up. John Isner, this is where he exploded up. Anywhere in this range is acceptable. What you don't want is for the racket to drop down, have it down, sorry, wrong tool, have the racket down there, and then you begin exploding up. Now, the reason for this is because we want maximum shoulder stretch. We want the body going up as the racket is going down. And when those two things are going in opposite directions, your racket going down and your body going up, that stretches the shoulder. That really helps you swing super fast. Now, one reason why I see players dropping the racket and then exploding up is because the toss is too high. So if you have a really high toss and your racket keeps going, it has time to drop and get all the way behind you before you ever exploding up. And that minimizes the shoulder stretch and hurts your racket speed. So make sure you have a low enough toss that you're actually able to explode up from the trophy position. 
Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you want to find a league at your level, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. As I always recommend, film yourself from the back view. Check to see that when you lift your racket up, that you have, if you're right-handed, the tip of the racket pointing off to the right of the camera with your palm and strings down. You could even place a ball in the throat of your racket at this moment just to feel what that's like. That is going to help you use a really great circular swing when hitting, because we want to use something that's going to hit a birthday hat off, right? That saluting motion, that circular motion that Coco has. The second thing is keep your tossing arm up a really long time. That helps you swing up, helps you stay sideways long enough to be able to get a lot of side spin or top spin on your serve. And last, make sure that you are driving your legs up when the racket head is up. You want the racket going the opposite direction as the body on the serve. That gives you a ton of racket speed. You work on these three ideas and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.